Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Class C that you can get from Nexus Motorhomes. This is the all new 2021 Nexus Triumph Model 24T. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited that Andre and I traveled all the way down to Tampa to show you this Nexus Triumph and a whole bunch of other videos that we can't show you in Ocala. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi hey. everyone. How's it going? It's going good. Tell everybody about our special yeah, audience. Yeah, we have a special audience today, you guys. Yeah, it, it was $49.99 a ticket and you can come <laughs> wa watch the show live. Actually, no, that's Dylan and, and Tom and they work here in, um, Oh, Tampa. crap, We're, wherever we are, in Tampa, so make <laughs> sure you come and visit them. Hey guys, and we did get your list of RVs here in Tampa, so we're gonna try to knock out as many of those as we can today. Perfect. So let's begin with this one. Model is 24T, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 25 feet even. This is the Nexus Triumph. It's their entry-level Class C motorhome, but I really like the 24T because it gets you a nice full wall slide. This is power on the all new E350 chassis. It has the 7.3 liter V8 engine, Godzilla engine, 350 horsepower with 460 foot pounds of torque. Coming up here, you can see how we have a nice fiberglass front and brawl. And what I mean is, this is actually lapped over to here, so your seams are right there. It's less likely to leak that way. Coming down the side, oh, look at those tires, Dre. These are the hand cooked tires. These are the LT225-75R16. Coming down the side here, small motorhome, but a nice size awning. This awning goes the whole length of the motorhome. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Great, nice power awning with LED lights, and I absolutely love that. Look at that, I love how it starts from black and kind it's like of- It's like an ombre like a, look. Yeah, it fades into white, I really like that. And then you have your LED lights right there. Because this is a Nexus motorhome, they use the Asdale sidewall composites, not just on the exterior walls, but the interior walls. Asdale's a green-based material that will never delaminate on you, so you won't get that bubbling in the side. Also, for the inside, it won't give you that formaldehyde smell. It's great for people with allergies. Also, because this is a Nexus motorhome, for their construction, they use steel cage construction. It's 72% stronger, which means 72% safer than aluminum, than uh, aluminum. <laughs> Right here, you got your water heater, okay? Okay. All right, right here, we have your propane tank. And Andrea, we'll have all the tank sizes, the water heater sizes, length widths, everything, down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Coming down the side here, we got more power on the outside if you wanna plug in a golf cart. Not Over a lot here. of storage on here. Yeah, but with Class C's, especially this one, there oh, won't be a ton of storage. Up, oh, dang, nabbit, Andre, we forgot the key again. It's all good. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. This do have a 7,500 pound hitch. This motorhome can't tow 7,500 pounds. You're safe with 5,000 pounds, and if you want to go any higher than that, you really need to watch with how much you load into this motorhome. You do have a backup camera right there. Also, you got a ladder to get up on one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. To do your stretches. Here we go now. Hold on. Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Right here, you have your wine guard digital antenna. Right there, you have some fans up here, and you do have one big 15K air conditioning unit. Take your time. Hold on. Last step. Three. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Not those guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing up with the driver's side. 30 amp power cord, here it is. You have your 
1,000 watt inverter right there. And as you can see, the other side of the storage back yeah, there. Yeah, pass through storage. Here's your water hookup. You can fill up your tank fill or city fill. And then you have cable right there. I love this part. Here's where you dump your black and gray tank, but the handles are enclosed. I really do like that because it's not that, it's not your poop that will freeze. It's these metal rods that will freeze. And that's why it's nice to be fully enclosed. Right there's your fuel fill up. Coming down side here, here's gonna be your Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Nice. And then to wrap it up, we're gonna have a little bit more batteries right there. Awesome. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. We're going this way. Okay. You guys got to skip around. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Uh <laughs> I feel left out. You guys are going to be famous for all the wrong reasons. I'm loving it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the slide is in. Look at all that walkway. Plenty Very of room. Nice. Plenty of room to the bathroom. And as you can see, the bed is on a slide. Womp yep. womp. Great. Now while the slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And we thank you. And we thank each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. And thank you for everybody who made recommendations about what we should record at Tampa. Perfect. All right, let's get started with the cockpit area. Up here in the cockpit area, you can see this is the nice new, look at that, look at that. Wow. It's the new 7.3 liter engine. It's all new. You have your Apple CarPlay, your cameras and everything all right there a nice modern steering wheel you can see how many miles per gallon you're getting everything's very nice that engine. yeah Woo all right. oh yeah okay how's it feel co-captain um it's comfortable you know they're all pretty much the same to me as far as when it comes to leg space uh -huh. but you know as somebody asked me to try to rate how comfortable seats are if i was same from one to four, this would probably be about a three. So this is pretty comfy. Nice, very nice. Yeah, very nice. I like the cup holders here. All right, <sighs> pop on out. Okay. And then above the cab, we do have a bunk over the cab. This does flip up out of the way if you want more headroom. And this bunk over the cab holds 350 pounds. And, or Got is it 500? TV or is it 500? What say you, Tommy Bennett? 500. Holds 500 pounds. You know that? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, not, not only is he good looking, he's knowledgeable uh, as well. Sorry, Mr. Donati. Um, up here, 500 pounds. You do have the TV right here. And it does swivel to give you a better viewing area from your dinette. Over here in our dinette, we do have our models here to demonstrate <laughs> eating a meal. What I love is when we're driving down the road, they do have cup holders to put their sunglasses or drinks. So if we hit the brakes too hard, the drinks won't go flying. We have a nice slow rise shade. Yay. Very nice. Look at that light. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. It's very interesting. Is this light Art Deco? No. <laughs> and then we got cabinetry above. Okay, nice. All right. Something else that's a nice big feature to me with the uh, air conditioning units, Nexus uses metal ductwork where other manufacturers will use styrofoam to guide the air from one side of the RV to the other. Nexus does all metal ductwork just like at your house. Again, it's gonna be better for allergies. Oh well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. He's a one man show. MSRP on this motorhome here is $103,574 MSRP. We have it sale priced, even though it's a 2021, we have it discounted to 31% off to 71,999. 
that is a phenomenal deal. But as great as but as great of a deal that is, Andrea, we can always get you a little bit better. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Andrea, <laughs> let's continue the video. Oh my gosh, I'm dying in here, Hey, Matt. it's funny, I, I will say, Dylan, <laughs> You just you just like okay. looked at like well what what was I binging yeah, at? You were you were editing. Yeah 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 no, no. yeah like, yeah yeah something will be edited in there. It's like what's he pointing at? <laughs> <laughs> okay everybody, let's start with the kitchen. We got a nice cabinet here, adjustable uh -huh. shelves. I like there's a window here, many blinds. Yep, good size window. Cute little sink, got the extension. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a lily pad. Lily pad of power right there. All right, and we have a nice little storage area here under yeah. the sink. Again, very deceiving. Those are very big doors for not a lot of storage. Not a lot of counter space here. I think they uh, probably could have put an extension over here. For sure, for sure. But I want to comment on that. The reason why this doesn't go all the way down to the bottom is because your heat ducts are coming through the side right here. So you don't have heat ducts on the floor. All right. Uh-oh. Got a microwave. Microwave convection oven. Yes. Oh, good. There's metal in it. Good. Big improvement. Definitely. Got a three burner cooktop with oh, a glass yeah. cover. Very nice. And some more cabinetry under here. We got the, oh my goodness, we got a residential fridge in here? Yep. Wow. That's, I'm impressed. Yep, that's what runs off that 1000 watt inverter outside. All right. And then you got a curtain to your bedroom that's area. The and then this is your combo pantry and wardrobe area. I'd say this would be your pantry and this would be your wardrobe. I like wardrobe. that there's adjustable shelves in there. Yep. That's good. Yep. Got drawers. Very nice. We got four. Four drawers. Two more underneath that, look. Two big drawers underneath. Very nice. And then look at the bedroom area. I'm actually kind of a fan of this, how low the bed is because sometimes the beds can be this high up. Yes. And so it makes it very easy for people to come, sit down on the bed, Got plenty of walkway around. Right up here, this is where you uh, put, would put your TV. You got a nice mirror right there. And then we got storage above the bed. Very nice. Yep, very nice. And then look, there's even like a little nook right there. That's a good place for uh, you to put your cell phone. Interesting balances. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now finishing up with the bathroom. Got area. a pocket door on the bathroom. Yes. Uh oh, this is little, isn't it? It is. Oh. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna say an okay, an okay size shower. It's like a 36 by 24. Definitely not the biggest shower I've ever been in, but pretty nice. I mean, you gotta remember this this motorhome is 25 feet tip to tip, so this is pretty nice. Andre, want to show everybody the sink? <laughs> well, I'm gonna start over here. We got the little bit of storage here. We got yep. a fan. Oh, uh, fantastic. Medicine cabinet. Okie dokie. Um, I like that there's counter space in here. Yep. We got three drawers. Cabinet under the sink. Yep. And you know, Matt, I can't wait to see what you say about this toilet uh, because I think it's going to be a lot like the Nexus 25 V Viper. And I don't porcelain. Think I'm it is porcelain. Uh oh. Yeah, oh I'm wow. Look at the feet swinging. I mean, the dangling feet. <sighs> I know some people like it when it's on a pedestal. Yeah, this this it'll work great for a for lot of people. Yeah, but not for me. I cannot give it the four piece. Womp womp. Womp womp. But that's okay. And that's it. That's the review. That's the 24T. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay. You want to go first? I'll go first. You go first. Because I'm right here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm really impressed that there's a residential fridge in here. Especially a motorhome this small. Yes. With it being 25 feet, uh -huh. I, I love this less shopping you know and you know what i'm saying like a lot of times people the people who are looking at this they're they're tossed up between a class b and a class c yes and this is giving you a lot more class c features still being so small so that's one two i'm going to say i do really like the height of this bed you know a lot of times people have hip problems yes or people don't want to climb up in the bed it is nice just to plop down to bed 
With that said, if you do have really bad knees and you are very tall, it might be harder for you to get out of bed. Um, but that all has to do with your height and your kneecaps. So that's two. And then three, do you have a third? No. I have a third. <laughs> it's outside. We'll be right back. Great. So number three, I love the quality and construction of this. I love the steel cage construction and I love the Asdell sidewalls. I love how they do it on the uh, exterior walls and interior walls. Also, the one piece fiberglass roof, all while keeping the price point low. I'm a huge fan of Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Safety first. Safety first. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Bum, bum, bum. You want to go first? Yeah, you know, I'm going to say, and I know with smaller Class C's, you lose storage, but the lack of storage on here is really yeah. something. Like, yep. Just I mean, not a lot of exterior like storage. not. I mean, you have a little bit of space over here, but like it's 25 feet, so it is right. what it is. Yeah, you can't, you can't be so mad, but I do 100% agree with you. The storage is limited. So that's one. Let's ask our guests. Do you have to say a dislike? What would it be? I think certainly the the bathroom. Yeah. It's yes. A bit of a the downside, not just in the side where the toilet is located, but it's very yep. tight side very, to side. Yep, absolutely. Um, well, Tommy just stole my number three, <laughs> so I was gonna end on that. But yes, the toilet placement, the bathroom being a little bit tight, but at the same time, because the bathroom is a little bit tighter, you have capabilities to walk around the bed mm -hmm. there is other models just like this that have a bigger bathroom but then your bedroom area is small right. so there's give and takes so that's two and then three i'm just gonna add i'm just gonna finish up with lack of counter space in the kitchen yep i just wish they that they had a flip up counter and it would have been great but that's it that's the review thank you so much for everybody for watching thank you guys for yes. coming out <laughs> being our first live audience members um, if you have any questions about this RV, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell phone. Or again, check us out online. It is mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing. Do it, do it. Bing. Bing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andre, do you have anything you sure. want to say? Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. As you know, Nexus does read the comments, so we're trying to change RV history. I hope everybody is doing well and you guys are staying safe. And thank you to our guests. You know what guys, we gotta come outside. We're not ending. We're not ending on this note. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> okay, right here, in here. Okay, over here, over here, come on. Are we doing the jump? We're doing the jump. Uh -oh.